How are you doing trappers? Ed Snyder with this new YouTube video. Hey, I'm going to show you uh, a duff set. I'm going to show you this uh, scent post set. Uh, the scent post set or trail set that I'm making is right where the coyotes are walking. I think if you look close, I'll try to zoom in on this video. You're going to see right where they're walking. I just pick out an object that they're walking by. In this case, you can you can go very low key. Now, my trapping student, uh, Jerry Gabrick, he, um, he's up in Wisconsin. And in this case, we have a, a fallen over tree. Well, a coyote can't necessarily uh, uh, walk through the fallen over tree. It has to walk around the fallen over tree. So it makes an ideal location. And Jerry's putting in what we call a duff set. Uh, which I have another video on that set construction, but he's making a nice trail. Now I know for a fact that this particular spot has done well for Jerry uh, the year that uh, that I went up there with him. But um, you're creating you're creating a focal object that can be seen, in addition to right along that edge. So both of these, one of them offers a visual to tell them, hey, something's here, you can investigate this a little further, and then the odors of the gland lure and the urines kick in. The other one is a whoa, right where they're walking. That's the secret behind the other one. He's walking right beside this clump of grass, woes the coyote with the scent of gland lure and urine. So one of them is a little bit more aggressive, making it visual, making it natural, the other one is 100% natural, right where they've been walking. You can see the footprint right there as he's walking down. So two different ways of attracting a coyote, offering them a set that, that they can't refuse. That's that's really what it's what it's about. It's it's taking the decision making process away from the coyote that a dirt hole set offers a coyote. A dirt hole, they have to make a decision: do you want to work it or not? With a walkthrough, sand post, trail type set. You're just saying there's nothing to fear here. Just, you know, check me out. So anyway, if you like these types of videos, hit that like button and subscribe. Help me grow my business. And until we meet again, tight chain strappers. I had a second location. See how trees are, the tree is a fallen, got a brush. And uh, the farmer didn't even pick the beans along here. So all the animals are avoiding this location. Putting in a duff set. Uh, right along and creating a trail right along there but what makes it nice we got it we got a, a chicken uh, compost up there got a brushy grassy edge that's that's really key even even without the chicken this is a good edge down here you wouldn't want to set say where that plastic bag is because the coyotes may be coming out a little bit to avoid that fallen tree so a nice showy duff set uh done in a soybean field able to use a little bit of the of the chaff from the soybeans to blend it back make it look natural like aging it in so that's a super looking set right there uh, i think we're going to put some uh, seldom fails gland lure and coyote urine and scat you know just like i do my trail set so anyway nice spot uh especially when you got a an obvious spot that they have to walk around uh this is going to catch bobcat coon fox whatever whatever comes here got a nice showy duff set okay i i know uh i don't have the camera on it but i got coyote tracks walking right by this and uh so let's go ahead this is the second set at a location let's go ahead and scrape up some topical dirt that we, there's plenty of dirt to sift back but they're telling me they're walking right by that so let's give them an incentive nice dirt to work with nice sand to work with when they say sandy loam they mean sandy loam sandy 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 loam I'm not an agronomist so here we go all right, putting it right where they're walking. Let's go ahead and get a trap in. I'm going a little quick, uh, just due to the daylight it is fading on my end. On your end, it looks pretty good, but it's darker than it appears.
There. Got it. Set it, pull it back and set. All right, check my pan tension. Scent post sets are made where they, where they walk. Don't make a scent post set to back up your dirt hole set. Actually, if you want to get down to it, this is the primary set because the coyotes are, are telling me they're walking right here. Let's see where I'm at. Well, it says it's good. Putting that right where they're walking, let's put a pan cover on. These sets are 99% of the time always pretty quick. There's not a lot to it. Some gland lure, urine, add some scat just for a visual. I'll just go ahead and scrape that and shake it on there. All right, packing in around the sides. Let's brush it off and finish the packing. The bedding. Making sure everything is solid. Good. Now let's brush this out. All right. I'm just making sure it's level. That's all I'm doing, big strokes. Let's go ahead and uh, shake and bake here kick that out and lay the slag on the side let's go to the other end it's, it's that's gonna fall out I'm gonna just grab some side dirt there we go nice and big he's already telling me he wants to walk here so now let's do two things kick that rock out of the way don't need it and uh, let's take some scat put it in our trail about 10 inches pan center on the upwind side let's put a little coyote or a little gland lure and we're trying to be eight inches away six to eight inches away from the pan center and last but not least give it a shot of urine and give your scat a little fresh urine to liven it up so that's it that's how fast these sets can go so anyway i'm glad i got those two sets in uh ready to go